right, <clears throat> let's take a look at major indices. Uh, a lot of people talking about the market crashing. Um, so looking at the Dow Jones daily here, um, I just see a normal market movement. Uh, we didn't quite make a new high, um, but that's that's just part of the way markets work. We see that here. We didn't quite make a new high. Test it again here. Struggled a bit. We did make a new high. Pulled back. Another new high here. So I don't really see anything to be concerned about right here with the Dow. Um, we have had a pretty strong rally coming out of COVID. Let's take a long-term uh, weekly picture here. 15 years on a weekly chart. Uh, if we draw a trend line along the top here, just kind of try to smooth things out. I don't, I don't really count the crashes here for my smooth average channel. So looking at the channel in general, uh, we're sort of at the high end of the middle of the channel right here. So this looks perfectly healthy to me. Uh, pretty normal. Uh, we have a lot of news events that have been affecting the markets. It's the end of the year. People taking profits or locking in losses uh, for tax purposes. NASDAQ composite weekly chart looks pretty similar. Uh, pretty strong rally coming out of COVID. We may be a little overextended here. Still a very strong bull market. Um, the 2008-2009 crash actually generated a, a downtrending red cloud and the, uh, the COVID crash did not on the weekly chart here. So of course anything can happen. <coughs> we could see um, we, sh we could see prices come down more. Um, we can see the, the Kijitsun line here continues to provide support for this uptrend, this bull market we're in. And we pulled right down to that right now. Um, if this breaks, we could see prices come down near the top of the cloud here. S&P 500 still running pretty strong. Volatility index. Volatility took a spike up here. Reacted to downtrending pressure from our Kijinson line right here. Has come back down. Seem to be seeing sort of a little bit of a support area uh, forming here for volatility. So we could see more choppy markets and more sideways movement. So the Russell 2000, these stocks have been hit the hardest, it seems. Um, and also looking at the long term weekly picture. Also seem to be the most overextended coming out of the crash here with this huge straight up move they had and then uh, pretty much been consolidating for the year of uh, 2001 here. Tried to break out. We had a false breakout here and came right back down to this sort of support area we have here with the sideways consolidation here. Uh, so it's interesting to see if this is going to hold. Um, we could see, from what I'm seeing in these charts in general, we could see some uh, bullish sentiment come back here fairly soon uh, as we bounce from these levels. Or if these levels break, uh, we could see price come down 
uh, considerably more. <clears throat> so just looking at uh, looking at a variety of stocks in general, looking at a lot of the uh, the meme stocks and momentum stocks that have been popular in some of these social media groups. Um, we can see this huge move that they had and that move has just continued to burn off and we're sort of in this descending channel. Uh, it's hard to say where we're going to go. We can come back up and, and test the top of the channel again here or continue to, uh, to come down near the bottom. Uh, this is charge point pretty popular with the social media chatter so we see this sort of a support area right here and it looks like you know, we sort of broke it here and then bounced this was the false breakout we saw in the, uh, the last chart we looked at there right to the top of the channel here rejected so Let's see about drawing a support line here. Well, we had we had a support area here that broke. So now we've kind of got a new one here. We're testing again. Um, we've only got one reaction at this area. So this support area doesn't really look all that strong to me. Let's look at a daily chart. Okay, we have those same lines here in our daily chart. So we're sort of in this uh, consolidation wedge. Uh, some may consider it a bull flag. Uh, if we look at a long term 15 year chart, this stock pretty much came from $10. Twenty twenty. So late twenty twenty, this thing made a huge run. Ten dollars all the way up to almost fifty dollars. <throat> and now the consolidation here. DraftKings been getting pretty hit pretty hard. Uh, saw this uh, big head and shoulders top forming. We had at one point sort of a rising trend line that broke. We've been under downtrending momentum, closely following our tickets in line here. Uh, this is a daily chart. Fuel cell, we see a similar pattern here with this sort of uh, consolidation wedge and uh, a floor right in here, support area. FUBO. A little bit of a support area right here. Evo, similar pattern here with our consolidation wedge, uh, floor of support. So I'm watching this area <clears> on <throat> a lot of these that have this, this pattern. Because uh, I think if, if this breaks, if this, if this floor here breaks, uh, these things could be setting up for considerably more downside. Um, at, at some point, this pattern is going to resolve either up or down. Um, some of these stocks really don't have very good fundamentals and they were just overbought by a lot of uh, a lot of retail traders that like to chase momentum and speculate. Meme stock uh, GameStop here. We're testing this this sort of floor support here. A 
They had a couple areas of uh, of support. The first one, first one, uh, sort of broke, and we came to the second area there. Looks like we're trying to bounce from there, and here comes our our uh, downtrending pressure with the Tinkinson line. <clears throat> this downtrend is pretty steep, so. Uh, at some point, I think we're going to get a reaction and, and get back above this and and retest. We make him back up to our Kijensen or Cloud here and then push down again. Um, this stock as well is, is very overextended for its normal trading range. Of course, it's a meme stock. Uh, meme stocks tend not to last forever. So, as I mentioned before, if this if this floor support breaks, um, I think all hell is going to break loose with some of these. PLTR. We've got this this low within this consolidation area. We're trying to react to here. So like I say, I keep seeing the same pattern within a lot of these uh, speculative companies where we've been in this, we've had this huge move and now the sideways consolidation, just like we see in the Russell 2000 and testing this floor here. Quantum space, very similar thing. We've pretty much, this whole huge move here is pretty much burned off. It's like we've got a little more possible uh, downside momentum before we get to the floor here with uh, QS. Down near $20 on this one. SPCE, to me this is just a meme stock uh, based on hype for the, uh, the first flight. Uh, don't really care for the fundamentals on this one. Workhorse, this, this stock's been punished pretty badly. Um, Another one that seems to be uh, seems to be overdone. To this huge move here. Let's take a look at a weekly. <clears throat> On the weekly chart, we can see our well, we had a huge bearish, bearish engulfing candle here, and that's never a good sign. Uh, the uptrend was, was broken right there. Tried to recover here, reacted to the top of the cloud. And now we're under uh, downtrending momentum following our Tinkinson line here. So I would continue to avoid this unless you like bottom fishing. Some of our crypto related uh, stocks that were on a big tear. Basically a failed breakout here. TK cross going down. Robin Hood. Downtrending momentum. We're following our Tinkinson line, staying below our Tinkinson line, going down. Another popular meme stock is uh, Lucid LCID. Had a pretty big rally here. Fast momentum following Tinkinson line. 
started the training below Tinkinson and Tinkinson Cross. Looks like the, the Tinkinson is acting as downtrending pressure here. Price action is trying to find support from the cloud here. Um, based on the steepness and shape of this cloud, uh, we, we need to have a pretty strong, pretty strong rally right now to, uh, to get this uptrend to resume here. Um, like I say, looking at a lot of these other stocks, this, this support area, uh, we're, we're kind of at a do or die point for, for some of these. Rivian, not much chart history here, but we're all the way back down, uh, all the way back down here at or below the, the original IPO price. I don't like IPOs. I tend to avoid them until I see a nice trend develop and, and uh, can see what, what sort of uh, earnings and whatnot they're producing. Sundial, we had a false breakout here on uh, earnings and guidance release. Still trending lower. The stock has been in a long term downtrend. Um, breakout here coming out of the COVID crash, and then we've just been burning off. Oh. Not, I'm not a fan of this stock. Don't really care for that chart. Tilray descending channel. We're testing the bottom of the channel. It's another, another one we can use as sort of barometer for uh, market sentiment and where we may see a bounce because uh, we're at the bottom of this uh, descending channel here on Tilray. And we're at the bottom of consolidation wedges and a lot of these other uh, small cap and meme stocks and whatnot. So like I say, we're, we're kind of at this do or die point where either we're going to see a bounce and see these things uh, pull up from these support areas or these support areas are going to break and, uh, and things are going to get a lot worse. So just looking at the long-term trend of this of this stock, uh, pretty much need a, a miracle for this thing. I mean, is this company really turning around? Is it <clears throat> is it really going to start forming a new uptrend? Let's see what else to look at. Well. So let's look at some of the some of the blue chips here. Uh, well, Alibaba here. These uh, China stocks have been hit pretty hard, out of favor. Uh, let's see, long-term trend. Let's go to weekly. Fifteen years. So we had this support area here that broke. These could be uh, support areas here based on these previous peaks down here. Markets tend to like even numbers, so down around this $100 range. Um, the stock looks very oversold. Uh, look how far away we are from the cloud. Uh, the cloud is, is trending very steeply. So very oversold here uh, fast momentum down I actually hold the stock I, I had profits <clears throat> about during the COVID crash um, I had profits but they've turned to losses uh, but I do like the company and uh, so I'm just continuing to hold that one Couple of China stocks, uh, Baidu and Momo. Pretty out of favor. Uh, 
Apple near 52 week highs here pulling back from 52 week highs weekly chart pretty strong uptrend uh, looks a little overextended but can tend to continue to trend or, or stay overextended for some time uh, or could be do, do for a pullback but uh, Adobe this one recently got uh, must have been some news or something it's a pretty big bearish candle here so this is one that I hold it's a good company good stock uh, we see a support area along in here it looks like this candle sort of reacted to that support area there long term rising trend we tend to react to this moving average here which is our 200 moving average so prices come down below the 200 moving average on the daily chart Um, long-term investment approaches could be a, a decent area to take a position start a position auto zone very strong chart GPC genuine parts company you started watching this one uh, not real fast momentum but a, a decent chart lows strong chart there Microsoft another one that I hold um, long-term trend has been pretty decent here targets been taking a hit this could be a decent buy opportunity we pulled down to the 200 moving average let's look at a weekly chart here yeah we just this trend is awfully steep <laughs> yeah from 2018 2019 here's our COVID crash bounce this thing has had just a, a huge run coming out of the COVID crash so we could see this this could um, <clears throat> this could pull back considerably here I don't like chasing momentum so I, I don't own this one because I think it's just gone just gone too much too fast it's actually not what I want trend line so we had sort of this gentle rising trend or channel here and then we just broke out of it in, the, in a big big way so tend to avoid starting a position in something like that if you're in it then uh, that's great <clears throat> I think you're a little late for it now so I think this this move here is could be pretty understandable we sort of see sort of a double top here double top at about 270 ticker symbol a Allegiant Technologies I like this stock it's just gone a little bit too much too fast here's our COVID crash on a weekly chart and the rally we had out of that so looking at some of these big runners here uh, could be due for more a lot more consolidation or pullback with some of these another one that I own and like is a Centos group Centos Corp 
that is a very strong trend <clears throat> Google this is uh, rather above trends another one I, I own uh, I don't plan on selling these I'm not I don't try to guess what's gonna happen I just follow the chart and and try to hold on to uh, companies with good fundamentals so you can see by the general trend here that we're we've pretty much broken above it just like that last one we looked at so we have had this huge rally coming out of COVID uh, Home Depot Imagine the rising trend and how we were overextended here. Still like the stock, still holding it. MasterCard has had a decent pullback. Uh, looking at the general trend, I don't think there's anything wrong with the with the chart. Um, could be a decent area to try to get in. Uh, with the, with the pullback we had here I like railroads I have a uh, Union Pacific weekly chart so if you're gonna stay long in these companies you just sometimes you just need to write out some of these waves okay this here this was a whole year of this thing trended down and then took a, a couple years to get back to a new high here visa these payment technology stocks have have taken a hit could be a decent place to add position waste management garbage company pretty strong trend here we're, we're pretty much at the top or exceeded the top of the channel here yum brands I like the company been thinking about adding this uh, I like to look for opportunities uh, temporary times of weakness that that was a great thing about the COVID crash is this uh, time of weakness here pulled back all the way down there $55 and now it's back up to 130 applied materials another one I hold does look a little overextended so pullbacks are pretty normal uh, after a huge run like this AMD strong strong rally going back to 2003 here yeah we we're below five dollars here <laughs> this thing has gone from from five dollar range in 2016 to now 130 dollar stock amazon's one i've been wanting to get in i just uh looking for it to pull back more uh, you can see a picture of the average or uh, rising channel line and we were at the top of that and now we're just consolidating uh, we may be getting near the bottom of our rising channel uh, could be after the holiday season here they come out with uh, some earnings and guidance and this thing blows up again be nice if they'd split the stock and make it a little more accessible uh, 
for those who can't trade fractional shares. Costco weekly chart. Another great company to invest in. Uh, pretty much blown above the top of a rising channel here. Yeah, these things have just had a tremendous rally coming out of COVID. McDonald's, another one that's held up well during this supposed crash. Uh, weekly chart here. Another one I got into uh, after the COVID crash here. Just a great time to get in, get a good position, and just and just hold on. Um, I've gotten to a point where uh, I'm doing a lot less trading and, and just decided to hold on to some good companies and, and ride things out. Uh, I really don't have time to to try to figure out markets and, and uh, try to jump in and out. So it's another one I like and hold is uh, NASDAQ Incorporated. Also looks a little overextended based on our average channel, broken above the channel. So looking at all these charts and weighing all these factors of where we are in markets and looking at some of the support wedges we saw in the small caps and some of these that are overextended we could either see a further pullback across the entire market. We could see a rotation where some of these big winners sell off and rotate into some of those uh, small caps that are at their consolidation bases. Or uh, the whole market could rally. This uh, trend could continue and small caps bounce. So we're just kind of keep an eye on these things here we're we're testing our rising indicator right here with the nasdaq stock our kijensen line so i think we're going to see a, a make or break point here pretty soon could be around the end of the year when uh, people start adjusting their portfolios for the new year we're going to see if we're going to continue uh, the trend that we've seen or if things are going to start breaking down further. Some of these technology stocks are very overextended. NVIDIA. You could uh, take a measurement of some of these moves. This move looks pretty similar. I don't have a measuring a measuring tool that I'm familiar with on this, but uh, the distance of this move looks looks fairly similar to this pull back. I like Nvidia. It's just one that I I missed out on. I didn't add to my portfolio uh, at the crash, and I uh, missed out on it. And I'm not I'm not buying it at these levels here. I look for an opportunity. I don't. Don't have to own all of them. PayPal's taking a big hit. Broken trend. Uh, we're below the Ichimoku cloud. But uh, was pretty overextended too coming out of the crash here. Looking at uh, try to picture a rising channel here. Could be at a decent area to buy this. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the of this one. I'd rather own a Visa or Mastercard, but um, this could be interesting. This area that we're trying to react to here.
General Motors weekly chart. Very strong rally coming out of COVID. I think some consolidation or pullback is is uh, is justified with these. It's part of the normal cycles of these. Uh, Generac is a stock that I really like. Um, this was one of my biggest winners in my portfolio, and I actually. Uh, took profits and closed my position. I, I closed out a little bit early um, just because <laughs> I was up more than 200% in a fairly short amount of time. So, and the trend looks awfully steep. Now we're seeing a pullback. Um, so we have a few rising channels to consider over the long term here we're going clear back to 2010 here so rising channel here long consolidation new rising channel here yeah i don't i don't know just got in and got out a little too soon and uh but now we see a nice pullback we are starting to see our tk cross here We've got a pretty good cluster of bearish candles on the weekly chart. TK cross going down. Uh, our Ichimoku cloud here looks like we're back here where we acted the cloud. We had a similar move back here. Uh, this was the COVID crash here. TK cross going down, tested the cloud and bounced. So right here we're testing the cloud again as well. So this may be a good uh, point of interest uh, to take a start a long position and look for prices to stay above the cloud uh, to help minimize your downside risk. Micron technology. We've seen a nice bounce here. Let's look at it daily. So daily chart, we've turned from bearish to bullish. We were trending below the cloud, trending below our indicators here, and had some moving average crosses, broke above the cloud, uh, a little overextended. So this pullback is uh, kind of expected. And we've got, now we have our rising 50 moving average, rising Kijinson line here. So we're going to look for price to continue to react to these rising moving averages here. Let's look at a long term. This is more of a stock sort of runs in cycles here. Overall, we've got sort of this rising trend. Some pretty big waves here. Really doesn't look all that overextended. Square, another payment technology stock that's been hit. Uh, TK cross going down, trending below the cloud. Just a huge rally coming out of COVID. So some sideways consolidation and looks like we made, uh, tested this area up here multiple times. See one, two, three. This is a weekly chart, so we tested this area multiple times. Couldn't get above it and now rolled over. Look at a long term trend. Overextended, consolidate. There's the COVID crash. I usually don't count the crash, so let's draw something like that. Could be interesting soon. Oh, 
Okay, Tesla. Oh, I drew some predictions on this one. I, I have a feeling this is going to form a giant head and shoulders top. I just feel it's up way too much. The valuation is, is uh, way too high. But uh, there is a lot of market euphoria about this stock here. The market seems to have some sort of love affair with it. Um, I'm not in it. It's one that I considered buying at the COVID crash. But uh, I just couldn't buy everything. Let's see. So the COVID crash. So looking at it when we had the COVID crash, we just had this long sideways area here. And then uh, what looked like an overextended rally. COVID crash. Pulled back this area. Acted as support here. The top of this uh, previous consolidation acted as support. And then we had this huge rally. So I didn't really like this chart at the COVID crash, so it's not one that I got into. And then it, uh, it took off, and I thought, well, it's, it's too late now. Made a new high. Too late now. I don't chase momentum. And it's just kept going. Oh. This is the top for now. Is this 1250 area, 1270? Starting to lose momentum here. Yeah, this this stock is just very unpredictable. So we could we could find some support here into this. Uh, this Kijinson line, but we are pretty far above the cloud here. Um, at some point, price tends to come back and test test the cloud, like we did here, or we could run for quite a quite a long time without coming into contact with the cloud. The daily charts a little bit better. We're We've had on the daily chart, we've had a TK cross and now trending below the cloud. So technically this is a confirmed downtrend. When you have candlesticks uh, with the entire body below the cloud. Tried to react here and our downtrending Tinkinson acted as downtrending pressure. So let's look for price to get a back above Tinkinson. And ultimately back above the cloud. Sometimes that can take uh, quite a mess of consolidation, like what we had here with the when we broke below the cloud here. Came back, tried to break above it. A lot of consolidation, uh, choppy, difficult to read the technicals when you're consolidating like that. And then uh, ultimately our breakout here. Fifty moving averages of interest, or this is a two hundred moving average actually. Two hundred moving average. So I think price back down around this two hundred moving average could get interesting again. Uh, that might be an area of interest if you're wanting to get into that one. All right. Let's see if there's anything else interesting, and then we'll wrap this up. Disney. It's another one I'm in that's uh, underperformed here. Um, could continue to go down. Boston Beer Company. This chart looks interesting. We had this huge move here coming out of COVID. That's pretty much burned off. Uh, I was looking at the fundamentals of this company. I'm not really keen on uh, investing in this one, but um, the chart is looking interesting with this pullback here. So we come in closer. 
we can see that we're in this momentum downtrend and now we seem to be breaking out of it we've got a TK cross right here price above Tinkinson we are reacting to the cloud uh, let's see if we can continue to follow uh, Tinkinson stay above Kijinson and break above the cloud we're starting to get a bullish twist right here the cloud is uh, beginning to twist and turn green so we need to see price stay above Kijinson and try to stay above this newly forming cloud at about four hundred and eighty dollars I think a daily candlestick close before below four hundred and eighty dollars and and this chart turns back to being bearish uh, but this could be interesting snapchat that's been hit pretty hard I don't don't invest in that one but all right it's time to wrap this up and uh, good luck